The wireless residential SMS alarm system MT9000 can detect if a door or a drawer is open, if water is leaking or if gas has reached the concentration level that will be harmful for health. It will let you know if the temperature is too high or the power in your house is out. Now let us install our alarm system. We would need a SIM card of your preferred operator. Note that for the system to operate correctly, you should disable the PIN code entry function on your SIM card. And don't forget that the count balance for the SIM card you are using needs to be positive. Before we switch on the basic block for the first time, we need to remove the battery insulator. This would require a certain effort. Here we go, and now let us connect the basic block to the power grid through the adapter. When powered, the basic block will switch to the mode of searching for new sensors, with figure 1 blinking on the screen. The LED gas will also begin to blink. This means that the gas sensor is heating up in preparation for operation. Now let us remove the power insulator from the first sensor and let it register the basic block. When that happens, the figure 1 on the screen of the basic block will light up in a permanent color and the next figure will start blinking. We repeat the procedure for the next sensor and exit the current mode by pressing the Yes test button. After all the sensors are registered, we insert the SIM card into the powered basic block. In a certain amount of time, the GSM indicator will light up in an even green color, which means that the device is ready. Now we can place the sensors in locations we need controlled. What we need to remember is that the basic block detects hazardous gas concentration and power outages, whereas the other three events, that is, opening a door, detection of leaks and high temperature, are left to universal wireless sensors. There are a couple of things one should keep in mind during installation. For a sensor to be able to detect leaks, it should be located in such a way that the two metal plates would face towards a potential leak. For instance, if we want to detect a leak on the floor, we put the sensor with the plates facing down. The control door opening the sensor needs to be secured on the part of the door, while the magnet is applied with a set to the other side of the opposite letter, T, in the words master on the sensor. The magnet and the sensor need to be placed so that when the door is closed, the magnet and the sensor would be next to each other and, when open, move away from each other. To detect gas in a room, install the basic block as high as possible. When you want to control liquefied gas, place the basic block as low as possible, for instance, next to a liquefied gas container. In order to activate the alarm system, we need to make a call to a number registered on the SIM card, inserted into the basic block. To activate the protection function, send a certain text message to a device. Now, if any of the respective events occur, the device will send us text message with a proper description. To demonstrate, let us lock the plates on one of the sensors. In a certain amount of time, we'll hear a sound alarm and then get a text message notifying us of the events straight to our phone. If we discontinue power supply, we'll again be notified respectively with a text message sent to our phone. MT9000 can be very useful at any home or country house, especially if you have gas equipment installed or power outages are something you are quite often faced with. Even if power is out, the protection system will continue to operate for another three hours, powered by a battery.